The lower chamber of the Texas legislature just passed a bill to spend $25 million to set up a bulk importation plan to bring in drugs from Canada. This is surprising to us because the Canadians just had a freak out when a Texas doctor in just two months wrote enough prescriptions to empty one seventh of all the Ozambique in British Columbia. The supply just filtered out of the province and went to Americans and the Canadians were freaked. We've seen this movie before though. Four years ago, Florida started burning money to set up an importation plan to bring in drugs in bulk from Canada. It's been four years and $30 million later, and they've got nothing. Not a single pill, not a vial has been imported from Canada. This is an actual photo of Governor DeSantis in his empty, expensive warehouse where he waits for Canadian medicine that will never arrive. Additionally, no part of this idea is safe because Canada doesn't have a track and trace system. No matter how you try and paper over it, we'll never truly know where that medicine came from. And as we learned in the pandemic, you cannot prosecute foreign counterfeiters. If you're lucky, you might lure them here, but mostly you just have to shake your fists. If you're serious about addressing drug costs, state legislatures should be looking at PBMs. These are these entities that reimburse pharmacies for less than the cost of the drugs they actually pay for, and then charge the insurance companies back enormous markups. They're responsible for an enormous amount of money being bled out of our healthcare system today. If you want to learn more about the failure of importation plans and why these schemes don't work, see our website page all about Canadian drug importation on safemedicine.org.